Hi, this is Dave at Customer Dynamics. Today I'm going to talk about field mappings. Field mappings allow you to move data from a, pa a parent record to a child record when that child record is created. Let me show you an example of that from an account to a contact. So if I open up a sample account, a bike store, and go to create a new contact, you'll see a number of fields are mapped over. The company name is mapped along with the business phone and some of the address fields. Now you can customize what fields get mapped. Let's say we want to map the fax field on the account over to the fax field on the contact. To do that we'll go to the settings area, customizations, and we'll customize the system. Now we'll go to the parent record, which would be the account. And if you need to check any of the field names, you can quickly go into forms from the customizations area here, and we'll open up the account form. And we can double check that the name is fax. We can do the same for the contact if we wanted to. To implement the mapping we'll go to the one-to-many relationship from the account. So the account is on the one side and then contact would be on the many side of the relationship. And we'll go to open up the contact. Or rather we'll open up the account to contact relationship. And from within mappings, we can see what's already mapped. And when we click New, we'll simply uh, map the source entity field to the target entity field. So we'll find fax on the account and map it to fax on the contact. Now we'll just save and close the mapping and we'll publish the customizations. I'm going to close out of customizations now and go back to our sample account. And now when we create a new contact from a bike store, you'll see that the fax number gets mapped over to the contact fax. And there we go. I hope this video has been useful. Thanks.